worried about the rising trend on human trafficking and forced migration in Nigeria, especially in Edo State. The Clean Foundation has underscored the need for communal efforts to fight the scourge, rising from a workshop for community-based women in Benin City. The state capital executive director of the foundation, who was represented by the state coordinator, Blessing Oromon, says everyone beginning from the home front should have adequate knowledge of the dangers of forced migration in order to nip the situation in the bud. Oromon says women-led organizations need to be equipped with the requisite skills to engage their community through enlightenment. The legal founder, the legal officer of Clean Foundation, Fihik Obaro, says also condemns the spate of human trafficking in Edo State, calling for stricter measures to be put in place. So we're training the different set of persons so that they can have this information, carry it out, and then also take it down to their own community. That is the basis of this training. It's not to just be trained and sit down on top of the information. No. Take this training to your communities, to your markets, women, group, leader, wherever you know these clusters are. Take this information there. Let everybody that is out there know the dangers of human trafficking. And then together we can bring it to a stop. Uh, a lot of persons want a better life. Uh, a lot of people want social amenities. A lot of people do not have society. Societal values are dead and it also has increased um, human trafficking in Nigeria. Yeah, so um, we found out that um, in other states, um, depending on the family and depending on the motive, the human trafficking has, um, uh, has been increasing. And so um, it's, it's, it's expedient that uh, the dangers of human trafficking are foretold, are told to individuals, are told to families, knowledge is being spread about it. Um, and that um, also economically, even victims of for survivors of trafficking are being uh, empowered. This is about the fifth workshop they have put in place, both at the community level and also at the, at the state headquarters level to ensure that women-led organizations, women groups, because it is in our first 80% or 90% of people who are affected are women. So we want to, they, they've, been, they've tried to build the capacity of female headed NGOs, female headed, female led NGOs, and female based community organizations to ensure that at their community level, what they are, where, where they are based, they, are, they become more sensitive, they become more aware of the issues of trafficking. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.